Filmmakers, activists, and community gathered at Lincoln Center for the premiere of Davis Guggenheim's Waiting for Superman, anticipated documentary that scrutinizes America's education system. You know, there are premieres, and then there are premieres, and when you see the school bus behind me, the most meaningful thing is the kids that get off the school bus come from one of the toughest neighborhoods in New York. These kids are doing great. You know, they're, they're on a track uh, to go to college. So it's an exciting that a movie can bring people together around something very positive and inspirational. I'm very interested in our flawed education system. They don't train kids to be analytical thinkers. It's really just a mass system to train kids to be better employees. You know, enough to show up the next day and push the right buttons. Well, I was really inspired by the film. I've already been paying attention to what's been going on with education reform. I think it's such an important issue right now for our, the future of this country. I said to Davis Guggenheim that I thought he was a great filmmaker, but I didn't think he could get America to care about these kids. These are poor kids. I have been yelling about these kids for 20 years, and no one's paid any attention. And this is the thing about a great film. Uh, suddenly, he just makes America fall in love with these kids. Guggenheim's last film, Inconvenient Truth, fueled a powerful movement towards change against global warming. Many are asking if this film will do the same for education in America. The movie has the opportunity to really coalesce people beyond left and right to demand change. And I, we at the Huffington Post are dedicating an entire section. If you care about global warming, then education is the most important issue. Education is ground zero, because if we don't have an educated society, how are we going to solve global warming? How are we going to solve the economic crisis that we're in? How are we going to solve insert issue here? I, I really would be heartbroken if it was just a flash in the pan. You know, with Inconvenient Truth, uh, there really was a true moment and a true awakening where the people came around a movie. I'm starting to hope, I'm starting to believe it could happen around this movie. Wait for Superman! This is Rachel John for NYPost.com.